Dr. joining in. Uh, she is tracking a couple of stories. Dr. Reddy uh, has been named a defendant in a complaint that has been filed in the U.S. District Court. Now, Ekta is with us. Ekta, I'm not sure what is this complaint all about and what is happening with Reddy's? Well, this complaint is with regards to Revlimid Generic. So basically, uh, Walmart and a consortium of other people, uh, a consortium of other companies, pharmacies included, such as CVS, have filed a lawsuit against Dr. Reddy's along with other companies, which have launched the generic version of Revlimid in the U.S. markets, claiming that there was unfair competition. So Dr. Reddy's is a part of the larger litigation which is taking place, which is basically which includes the likes of Natco as well as Celgene. Uh, these are the generic filers or, uh, you know, uh, Natco, Cell, uh, Natco as well as Dr. Reddy's are the generic filers which had settled with Celgene in order to launch the generic version of this particular drug. So they can sell only volume limited uh, versions of this particular drug until 2026 Jan, after which it becomes open in terms of uh, no volume limitations. Now remember, it's an $8 billion drug. It's a blockbuster drunk in terms of revenues, what is generated for the entire Indian pharmaceutical space in the past three to four quarters and Dr. Reddy's has benefited from it. These kind of litigations are normal course of business where, uh, you know, the likes of Walmart, CVS have indicated that there was unfair competition when it came to uh, you know, uh, it, it came to this particular drug and the settlement terms were obviously unfavorable when it came to generic competition and uh, there was a stoppage of generic competition, unfair generic competition coming in. And hence, uh, you can probably, you can see the stock weighed down because nobody knows what will happen with the litigation going forward. Generally, what happens is that there are settlements which take place, maybe a percentage of profits of the sale of the drug is what is uh, paid in terms of settlement charges or otherwise it goes to the end and it's fought. Uh, you know, it's taken, uh, t the legal recourse is taken. This drags on for many years. Generally, that's what we've seen. So let's see what happens. It's an overhang because it's a blockbuster drug, so the stakes are high. All right, uh, Ekta, thanks very much uh, for that. Stock's down about 3%. Appreciate you getting us all those details. The other one, which is uh, sort of also moving, but on the other side is